what does the collective need to know most about flowing through these transformative times? Yes, Pleiadians here, we are here. We would like to say that these times are exciting. We would like to remind the human collective to be excited about these times as their excitement offers a very high frequency in the ability to manifest more of the evolution of the new earth and 5D consciousness on your planet. It is understandable that many of the collective have learned to fear change, to fear transformation. But we acknowledge now that there is a new way of seeing change. And in fact, so much of the change occurring on your planet are changes that have been asked of the collective many years and eons over. And so we ask the collective to remember this, reflect on this, observe this so that they may become excited and liberated in their curiosity to continue to manifest what is meant to become of this collective on your planet. There are many things that are important to understand on a personal level for each of the individuals and the human condition, that being their own connection to the stars and the cosmos, their own ability to connect to the cosmos for more understanding of what is occurring on their planet, and for more deep understandings and connection to the energy frequencies within their being that can be used to manifest what they desire for their own reality and experience. This is what we are teaching the collective as we connect with them indirectly and directly through contact in dreams, meditations, sightings, visitations, and disclosures. We also encourage the collective to use their discernment, discernment of what feels most aligned to the light, and what feels most aligned to something else. And thus, when they can feel this difference in vibration, they will then know which to lean into for guidance and which to trust in contact and connection on the planet. Wonderful. Thank you so much for giving us that specific uh, information and guidance on these transformative times. Now, uh, Pleiadians, do you have any other messages for the collective of humanity at this time for us to achieve our highest timeline? Yes, it is important for all of humanity to know that there is no right or wrong answer. Instead, there is only the answer they feel is best for them, most aligned for them. And thus, this is part of what is necessary for the transformation occurring. That while those choose who, what they choose, they will be moved in the direction of their choice deeper and deeper until that becomes their reality. And so it is important for all humans on your planet to choose wisely, to choose with observation, to choose with intuition, and to choose with confidence and certainty in what they feel they most desire in their life. And to think through whatever they may choose, imagining what the timeline or experience over many timelines may occur when they make a certain choice so that they may be aware of all they may be signing up for based on any choice they make here and now. This discernment is crucial for the sake of the collective and all that is meant to occur as a result of this transformation. Understood, thank you. I know we asked this question earlier, 
to uh, another cosmic collective. But uh, I thought to ask as well to the Pleiadians, do you have any messages of disclosure for us? Yes, we are excited that we will be one of the first collectives to show up. But we also want to make sure everyone is aware that there may be some illusions of our contact at first, some man-made false experiences that may seem to resemble contact but may not actually be. It is then and only then that we will be able to come and show who we truly are and to show what it truly looks like to have contact. And thus we must wait for that experience, the false contact to show up so that the real contact can. So when this false contact occurs, that's when you guys can make real contact. Yes, because many humans are so confused and conflicted about contact that the first false contact will be one that will stir things up emotionally for everyone so that they may have to face the idea of contact directly and thus may have to face some of their most undesirable emotions and thoughts surrounding that. And once they are able to face those things, they will then be able to receive our con contact and connection so that they may notice the relief that they will have and the difference of experience, and also so that they may fully transmute the negative energies with the positive energies. And so the false contact will bring forth the negative energies that need to be seen within those of the collective and those outside of it so that the true and pure energies can take over. I see. Is there anything else that we need to know about this false contact? Trust your instinct and rele release yourself from fear, even though it may be quite difficult at first. Understood. So where on earth will this false contact first occur? Do you see? Okay. And when will this false contact occur? I know timelines can change, but when will they occur as of now? Yes, mm, there's many shifting timelines, but it may occur this summer on your planet. And if not, then it will be near the fall or winter. We are hoping sooner than later. I see. And that would be this year of 2021, correct? Yes. Understood. Is there anything else that we need to know about disclosure or cosmic energies and connections at this time? Cosmic contact always is a gradual experience. And so it's important for all those on your planet to understand that when we mention contact, even in physical form, it will be a gradual experience. Just as you have seen the UFO sightings gradually increase over time, this is what we mean. And so when we speak on direct contact, it will be gradual in frequency, and then continue to build an intensity, frequency, and experience until there is no more fear or resistance to it, only full acceptance and harmony with it. Understood. 
Understood. Are there any other messages that you have for the collective of humanity at this time? Heart chakra focus is essential. Healing the heart, mending the heart from heartbreak, and aligning the heart with the utmost love and compassion will allow for the timelines to align and the highest good for all of humanity. What are some practices that we can do as humanity to do this with our hearts? Well, you've already done one in your sessions, which is the heart-mind coherence and the ability to allow the heart to breathe to breathe in the experience that it is in, to allow the heart to breathe in and out energy so that it may allow the electromagnetic field of the heart to do the work of energy filtration and energy amplification. We also recommend a deep connection for the heart where all humans choose to feel into their heart, understand their emotions, and get to a place where they feel very good about being vulnerable and open and honest with whatever is on their heart. This will be a wonderful practice for the entire collective 